Hey friends, how are you? Welcome to the Commander's Palace Kitchen. My name is Tori McPhail. Today we're going to teach you how to make apple turnovers. Very simple recipe for fresh apples, a lot of cinnamon, spice, nutmeg. We're going to chill that out and then put it in a um, pie shell. Roast it off in the oven like a tiny little pie, something like Hubig's pie. It's really simple. Let's get started. So we're using induction heat today. We have a stainless steel pot. I'm going to add in some unsalted butter. You can still use salted butter if you like. We like to have some salt in our recipes, uh, but we start to use a little unsalted butter first. Then next we're going to add some light brown sugar. I just want to mix this together. We're trying to make a little caramel here. All right. We're going to cook this down for just a couple of minutes until all those flavors come together. All right. Sugar looks good, it's starting to melt. You can see the butter there starting to melt. Okay. After that, we're going to add in our apples. So these are Granny Smith apples or green apples. You can also use Brayburn apples or anything else you might have. Okay. So mix this up together. And these have been prepped, peeled, seeded, and they've been kept in uh, lemon water. And if you do that, squeeze little lemons on top and try to make sure you don't get any of the seeds. It helps the apples to not turn brown. This comes together. I'm going to cook this down for about four or five minutes. We're going to deglaze it with some Maker's Mark whiskey, adjust the seasoning, and then thicken it and get ready for our pie filling. See you soon. Hi, friends. So we've been cooking our apples for just several minutes now. The pot's nice and hot. You can see how much of that juice is coming off of it. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay? I'm going to pile up our apples kind of on the outside here. We're going to let this go for just a little bit more. What we want, what we want to do is we're going to deglaze this with some whiskey. First, I like Maker's Mark. Use anything else you might want to help. I'm going to add some whiskey to the inside of this. Okay. I'm shaking a little bit of cinnamon. Okay. We're going to continue to simmer this together. Try to reduce down some of that apple juice. It helps to concentrate that great flavor. After that, we'll thicken it. We'll, we'll thicken it, and then we'll get ready to make our pies. It's that easy to have great tasting food in your own kitchen. All right, guys, look at this. It smells really good. You can smell the cinnamon, you can sp smell the whiskey, and you can see how that sauce is starting to get a little bit thick. The cinnamon itself, as you shake it into a sauce, it's going to thicken it up a little bit. But it's all that natural sugar gently coming down to really kind of make that great sauce for the, uh, for the whole thing. We're going to help this along and add just a bit of uh, cornstarch. Okay? We use hardwood cornstarch. Okay? The box kind of looks like that. We take this, we add cold water to it. You want to mix this up until it makes it slurry. Okay? So depending on the apple, depending on the season, the apples are going to change. Sometimes if they're a little more firm, they're not going to give off as much liquid. Okay? If they're a little bit more tender, more ripe, they're going to be more juicy, and you're going to have to add a little bit more slurry. So even though we have a recipe, it's still going to be kind of a little touch and go. Okay? Here at this point, what we want to do is gently just mix that in as we stir at the same time. It really kind of needs to look like um, a thickened pie filling. Corn starts cooks pretty quickly, okay, so you don't want to add too, too much. And it's really kind of ready to go after about a minute. So we're going to set this down. Okay. We're going to get into these corners and really start mixing all this together to kind of develop our, uh, our filling. Okay. You can see now the pot's nice and dry. That okay. looks great. Nice and firm. It's exactly what we want right there. Beautiful. Okay. So at this point, we're going to bring back that whiskey flavor. I'm going to add just a little bit more whiskey. Okay. We're going to cut off the heat. We're going to taste it and make sure it's nice and seasoned. Okay. I go through a ton of those, so make sure you all have to have like hundreds on hand. Okay. It's really good. But if your apples aren't quite sweet enough, you can add a little bit more sugar. Keep in mind though, we are going to put this in a little pie shell. So you almost want the filling to be a little bit more sweet than what you would want to make up for the pie shell on the outside. So we'll make this up again. Okay. We'll add a little bit more cinnamon to it. You know I love whiskey, so we're going to add a little bit more. Okay, that's more right across the top. And I wish y'all were here to smell this, but it smells awesome. Oh yeah. That's the way. Look at that. Okay, it's not juicy. Okay, just 
the sauce coats those apples perfectly. And you really want that so as you cook it and you, and you uh, take a bite, it doesn't run out of the pie shell onto your hands if you have it to, have it to go. Alright? So make sure you taste it again to make sure it's right. Really, really, really good. Last bit of sugar. Last but not least, the tiniest little bit of salt. Salt helps to really round out that great flavor. Okay? But not so much we say, hey, look, it's salty. Okay? That's the scoop. At this point, we take this, pour it off right into the pan. Use a spatula so you get every single last bit. refrigerator nice and thick and then once it's cool I'll teach you how to make these, uh, these uh, apple pies it's like a small empanada super easy to make we'll get these ready for the oven I'll see you shortly